this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If you return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. The World. I'm Septum Sen, and I'm here to show you what they got. <laughs> well, of course we have some amazing stuff, so why don't we roll that beautiful DVD footage right now. It's full of action with an epic story. If you wanna read a book, go read a book. I, I will. If you wanna grind, pro skater will do. I like that too. I need an axe to hack and slash. Forty hours long sounds like a job. You can play an RPG if you wanna read. I fucking love to read, but I need some action. I need something more. You can play an RPG if you want a tree. That ain't no tree. It's full of action with an epic story. Who's this girl? Her name is Mara. To me. I don't mess with magic. I'm not the healing type. Forty hours long, awesome, right? but I have a fucking job. Wait. You can play an RPG if you wanna read. I fucking love to read, but I need some action. I need something more. You can play an RPG. If you want a treat, it's full of action with an epic story. Wait! 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 Wait. While I hit you! Wait! While I'm hit! Wait! While I hit you! Wait! While I'm here, I've talked to the town, I've leveled up, I've seen what I need to see. It's gorgeous, right? So this is an RPG. Yeah! And my role is to read. No! You can play an RPG if you wanna read. I fucking love to read. But I need some action, I need something more. You can play an RPG if you wanna treat. That ain't no dream. It's full of action with an epic story. Jordan, no. That shit's trash. To my left, I got monsters to my right, and 
did I mention? A rock cousin. What do you think about Dig Dug? I don't know, but I do know that I like it. Dig Dug, Dig Dug, Dig Dug. What do you think about Dig Dug? I don't know, but I do know that I like it. Dig Dug, Dig Dug, Dig Dug. It's night. 'Cause on my mind, the pukas, yeah, them too. High scores, oh, what I'm after. Seeing ghost spells, disaster. What do you think about Dig Dug? I don't know, but I do know that I like it. Dig Dug, Dig Dug, Dig Dug. What do you think about Dig Dug? I don't know, but I do know that I like it. Dig Dug, Dig Dug, Dig Dug. Well, we've got a, a number of things. Um, some things that I, I just like to put out some highlights. Again, try not to make these videos super long. Hope you all have enjoyed this format. Once uh, Jake has more free time, I'm hoping to get him back in on these. But if we have choice between this and the pickups, he would much rather be in the pickups. Liar! 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 So... Now, if he says, I'd much rather be in the news, we'll probably do the news together. So it is what it is. But I like having pickups, uh, and it's better when you get pickups as a group. <laughs> so, first things first. American Pie Girls Rules. I haven't seen an American Pie Presents project in a while. I got one of those, like... Um, one of those packets that had all the other ones like Book of Love and all of that stuff in it that came out it was pretty cheap and I don't know they're good raunchy fun sometimes you enjoy just sitting back no just no no pressure just sit back something that's gonna rot your brain a little bit and that's okay yeah gentlemen Ciccolini here may talk like an idiot and look like an idiot but don't let that fool you he really is an idiot it's okay to rot your brain a little bit. Just a little. So, if you are interested in that sort of thing, I think that's going to be a fun one. There's another one that has piqued my interest. It's not on my, like, must-buy list, but it is up there, which is a combination double feature Big Bully and Wrongfully Accused. Now, this one is interesting. I like Rick Moranis, and I want to try to collect most of his movies, so this is one of those. It was an okay movie. Wrongfully Accused, also Leslie Nielsen, fun part. Mm, it was okay. <laughs> it was a Leslie Nielsen comedy. There were a lot of them in the 90s and early 2000s. Then, of course, there's an Eli Roth History of Horror. That series has a season one release. I am very interested in this. I think it's really cool. I love these history of horror things just because they all cover different aspects. <clears throat> there was one that uh, J that James Rolfe uh, did a little while, which was pretty cool. It was about 80s, kind of 90s horror. Very in-depth. I, I just I like these documentaries. I've gotten to really like horror since my uh, college years, and uh, the, the love continues. It's almost like 20 years now. Uh, that I've enjoyed horror. 
Another one is The Fairy Tale Part 24. I want to say this is the last or second to last part, and then they finally wrap the whole thing, which will be kind of cool. I like, uh, I like Fairy Tale well enough. I had launched into it, and then the floods hit, and uh, I guess I'll be launching back into it in some time in the future. I haven't decided yet, but it'll, it'll be there. Now, another one, there's some steelbooks. We've got an Interstellar and a Saving Private Ryan steelbook coming to Best Buy. The only major difference is that the Saving Private Ryan is coming out in 4K regular. But steelbook's pretty darn awesome. They're pretty good movies. Um, both of them pretty awesome in their own right. And if you want them in the steelbook form, this is the way to get it. I got a pretty decent DVD copy of Saving Private Ryan. And Interstellar, I've got on Blu-ray, and that's all I really need. <laughs> so those of you who missed out on the initial Jaws 4K, you got a chance now. It's right here. <laughs> so you can get that as a regular 4K instead of the special edition. So again, uh, I mean, they've been re-releasing all the other films finally on Blu-ray, so of course Jaws has to get that 4K treatment. It's got to be one step ahead of the others. Then, really, I may be wrong. Many people may find this cover of the Naruto movie trilogy, the first three movies, like really cool, but it is one of the Again, I'm sure y'all are going to roast me in the comments for it, but it is the ugliest cover I have seen. This is... Ugh. But uh, for those of you who are missing out, there's also a Steelbook book version of this coming out. And uh, it's just... I mean, they're good movies. They do deserve the Blu-ray treatment. I've got some amazing copies myself. i got special editions. i got a Steelbook of the first one. And the other two's special editions, so I don't have any need to upgrade. But for those of you who do have the need, it's here. You can have this ugly thing in, in your collection. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> hopefully it's just, hopefully it's a room saver, if anything. Um, there's another huge compilation collection, the Star Trek Ten movie collection. Though my two Star Trek collections combined are not as thick as this collection. It does look cool. So, you know, if you want something like this in your collection, it has all the original ones, basically the next generation ones and the original crew ones, not the new trilogy. But, uh, and I think that's going to actually be a trilogy because they canceled the fourth one. But, um... I mean, if you like the movies, I think it's cool to get them again. I mean, they're on Blu-ray. It's, uh, I mean, it's worth, it's worth getting if you haven't gotten them, uh, to be sure. I used to have the giant DVD collection one, and it was pretty cool. I mean, you get all these special features. Uh, Star Trek movies themselves, they are important. I'm glad I have my collections. So, you know, you check them out. Of course, speaking of Star Trek... The new Picard series is releasing. Season 1. I've heard decent things about this. Uh, it's you know bringing the character back, uh, older character, different types of concepts. I am interested, I just haven't bothered with the CBS All Access, and maybe this will be my foray into it once it comes down in price. <laughs> and finally, another one that's on my, I guess I gotta get it, <laughs> is Tales from the Hood 3. I guess they were like, ooh, we can pick this series up and keep making them. The first one's a classic. I haven't watched the second one yet, but I'm sure it's not as classic. Still, I like anthology horror, and I love seeing them from different perspectives, and the first one was amazing. So, hey, let's check it out, see what it is. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you enjoy these uh, selections, click that like button. Of course, share and subscribe. And uh, do me the biggest of all. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are. What are your pickups that are coming up? Anything here? Anything on the slideshow that you see that I haven't mentioned? You're like, 
I need that. <laughs> well, we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.